I think okay. Swasti, can you put the voting form? Okay. So guys, uh, Swasti just put the voting link in the chat. Go do vote for the best role player speakers today. Uh, meanwhile, you are voting. I'll just talk about the upcoming contests which we have coming up. We have our humorous and evaluation contest on next Sunday. That is the 26th of September. Uh, so I just want to clear some misconception which we have. There is no prerequisite for humorous or evaluation contest. It's not like you have to give six speeches and only then you'll be allowed to participate. Anyone who is a member of this club. they might have joined on 25th of september they will still be allowed to participate in the humorous and the evaluation contest so don't worry that okay i have not given a speech or i have just given one speech before you or, and you you might think that okay that someone has given like finished two levels but that's not the case i remember giving participating in the evaluation contest only after finishing my ice breaker so it is totally fine for even second years i would actually motivate you guys to participate because i'll come to that why but there is no prerequisite secondly uh yeah for evaluation also anyone can participate now i i want all of you to be a part of the contest in some way some way form of the form i'll tell you why firstly contestants there are three reasons why you should participate in this contest okay i just came up with this while uh, this meet was going on firstly is it will help you step outside your comfort zone usually we just give a speech in the meet chill only we know the evaluator will evaluate and will get to learn for the first time in toastmasters you will have a competitive spirit you will want to win the contest because only you have obviously first second third so for the first time you will actually want to win the contest and you will see the difference that competitive drive will have when you are making the speech itself secondly you will learn a lot by observing people now what do i mean by observing i remember whenever i participate in any contest i am so scared what the contestants are doing i listen to everything they are doing so in a humorous contest you'll get to get so many good techniques good jokes ideas that you can use in your future speeches even in evaluations people who will come after you you can see what they did what point they focused on which you missed who won and why do you think that person won and it will be tremendous it will be a tremendous experience and thirdly this will help you grow the most in terms of communication not leadership leadership you have roles and you have other stuff in terms of communication the amount of time you spend on this particular speech because usually you just get one evaluate your you one your person will evaluate your normal club speech but for this speech you can talk to several members of the club even after giving your speech in the club contest you can ask anyone who has attended the contest to give you an evaluation so i remember i got six evaluations for my contest speech which was overwhelming to be honest like i had i never got so much feedback for one particular speech i've ever written and that was that helped me grow so much and guys don't worry don't feel that okay you might embarrass yourself you i personally this i was so bad in my era contest you guys have no idea anirudh gave his example and how he started off how he was not that great initially and look at him right now so don't feel because if you don't do it now then imagine yourself you'll be a fourth year and you'll still I have never pushed yourself out of your comfort zone. You will still have that regret that you didn't participate in the contest. So go ahead, and it will be a great experience. Now again, if you, other than contestants, there are roles as well. There is contest chair, contest master. Now again, these are leadership roles where contest. I'll just say what the contest chair does. Basically, that person will organize the entire contest, make sure who the role players are, and make sure everything goes smoothly. If any of you wants to take up contest chair. and contest master contest master will basically make sure that each contest humorous and evaluation goes in the proper flow so he'll be like for example the mc for that contest uh saying the contestants order inviting the contestants one by one even having the contestants interview in the end so if you want to either be a contestant or take up any role contact your mentors contact the excom contact anyone in the club everyone and you that i'm telling you any member in the club you might have never spoken to that person they will always help you because they know how important it is for one to participate in a contest and how and trust me the senior you think who you you message they will also feel good okay actually this person is asking me something you they feel good they won't tell it to you but they feel good yeah 
so i uh, that's what i wanted to say guys and another thing which i saw in the meeting which we did frequently which i didn't like is sometimes we are very casual in the meeting i know we are very well bonded but we can't be casual in the meeting we can't give us hindi phrases randomly in between now i guess the two people who did that know that you cannot use hindi phrases it's not a conversation going on right now we are we are very close but that we are still in the meeting we can't compromise on the meeting regulations and striving for excellence that cannot happen so that's what i wanted to say other than that is peacefully yes fastik uh, i hope i have given you enough time to calculate <laughs>